how about the trading card deals you were telling me about? Those are very lucrative, uh, lucrative deals, and, and autographs too can be a very lucrative category. How do you play the trading card game? They give you two or three thousand cards. Uh, a rep comes and and you sit down with them for countless amount of hours to sign and. And then they disperse them out to the fans, and all and all the fans love the cards. And if your card sells good, they continue to come back and and feed you with more cards and and more money. So <laughs> that's about as best as I can give you with that. <laughs> okay. Now going forward, let's just take you through the path. This this going to be A, double A, triple A, or is double A not considered the cutoff? We've had Francisco Lindor here. It seems as if Jose Ramirez, is that really the way you're looking at it, Clint, double A and then the Indians? Whatever, you know, whatever the Indians think is best for me. If I'm, if I'm in double A and they feel that I can help impact their major league team and they want to bring me up, so be it. I'll, I'll be ecstatic. But if they think triple A is where I need to be for a little while, uh, then that's where I need to be. I mean, I, I'm not the player development coordinator. I can't make the calls. If, if I could, I'd be in the big leagues right now. But uh, you know, I'm just, I'm in Lake County right now, so I'm trying to, you know, fulfill whatever that is I can here and, and try to help the team in as many ways as I can. And it shows. You are considered to be the Mike Trout in the making. Do those comparisons make it difficult for you? You are the five-tool player everybody's looking for. Yeah, especially whenever you have that guy on Twitter that <laughs> that won't leave you alone. But, you know, I, I think the biggest thing I've done this year is with a lot of excess comes a lot of pressure, and a lot of outside pressure is the hardest thing to handle. You know, but I'm, I'm one of the people that, that puts the most pressure on myself. And when you have people that doubt you, that only makes you want to come out there and, and prove them wrong. And, and when I get compared to the best player in baseball right now, that's a very, that, it almost seems unfair for a 19-year-old kid to have a comparison of a guy that's doing what he's doing right now. And, it's, it's, it's hard to live up to. I'm 19 years old and I'm going to continue to go out there every day and, and try to live up to that comparison. But I'm Clint Frazier and I, I want to be Clint Frazier and, and I want one day for someone to say, you know, this is the next Clint Frazier and, and that's what I'm trying to be right now. It's awesome. A couple last questions and we can get you on the bus. That's the other part about the miners, right? You're riding those. What's it like riding those buses? Don't laugh. <laughs> I showed up here uh, three weeks late, four weeks late. So I had to um, room with or share a seat with somebody. And I wasn't doing that. So I, I bought my seat for, I paid $400 for a seat for the rest of the year. And we're going on an eight hour bus ride tonight. And I, I wanted to be able to sleep. And it's not fun whenever you have a six foot three, 220 pound guy sitting next to you and, and you're squeezed in the corner. So. I thought it was a fair amount. I <laughs> I ended up hitting a home run and won $125, and I broke a couple of bats, and I think I got $330 that night. So I just handed it to him and went to the ATM and cashed the rest out. So those bus rides are brutal, those are, terrible. Those are brutal. But but what would you say you, on your five tools? Which are the ones you're working on here at A Ball this year? Uh, I mean, I've said this to a lot of reporters. I'm, I'm continuing to work on all of them. You know, if someone nabs you as a five-tool player, you want to make sure that you have all five tools uh, as precise as you can and make sure that I am as mature as I can in every single one of those aspects. And, you know, I, I think my hitting is my strongest tool, my speed is my strongest tool, and one of my strongest tools. And But I, I don't want to abandon the fact that I need to continue to work on getting better as a defensive player or make sure my arm is as strong as it can be. So you, you really have to make sure that all, every part of your game is refined and you just don't stick out in one part. One last question. I saw you today. We get a lot of rehabs here. Uh, Araldus Chapman was here Jeez. that Saturday, fastest throwing pitcher in all major leagues. What was, I saw you go up there against a the man. He did OK. What was it like facing the guy who throws over 100 miles an hour? <laughs> I remember. Uh, we were going in the locker room and someone said, are all this Chapman is throwing? And I went to YouTube because I could only picture one thing, one thing, 105.6 miles per hour being thrown at me. And I, I texted all of my friends and I said, if I don't come home from Ohio, you know why. <laughs> and um, he struck me out, but uh, I fouled the ball off and I felt, I felt like the bat was worth it to go up there and strike out against him. You know, he, he's supposed to strike me out. 
he did strike me out and it only gave me one more or one opportunity to get ready for him whenever I get to play in the major leagues. Well, we can't wait to see a progressive field, Mike. I mean, Clint. <laughs> and uh, we can't thank you enough for taking time before you get on the bus with all the other captains. And thanks so much for being here today.